Hello, everyone. This is Doug Boris with Cloud Sherpas. I am the Vice President of Cloud Management. I have with me today Emmeline Hunter. Um, and we are going to talk about the latest adoption kit that we are rolling out related to Google+. Plus. Um, so Emmeline's going to go ahead and introduce that and talk through what's included in the adoption kit, um, the importance of ongoing adoption, and things of that nature. Um, so with that, I'm going to uh, thank everybody for attending, thank Emmeline, and, and hand it over to her. Great. Thanks, Doug. Um, so today we're going to be talking about, like Doug just mentioned, the uh, we are introducing for this month. Um, what? Uh, well, first, an introduction to myself. I'm one of the change management leads. So um, thanks, Doug, for passing this off. Just so you know a little bit of background about me. Um, I work with Natalie Sorrels, who you might have seen in the past deliver these sessions. Um, and we just help put together these adoption kits to help further the adoption of Google at your organization. So today we're going to be talking about Google+. Plus. I'm going to just go over to the next slide and quickly review our agenda for the day. So we've gone through our introduction. Um, we're going to just touch on the importance of ongoing adoption at your organization, how Cloud Sherpas can help with this. We're then going to be releasing the May and June adoption kit and then going through some of our extra tips to help ensure adoption at your organization. All right, so why is ongoing adoption important? So going more Google, really this is taking advantage of what Google has to offer. So there's so much more to Google than just your messaging platform, right? It's, it's more than email and calendar. And, and most likely, that's why you all went to Google in the first place. That's why your organizations decided to go Google in the first place. So this is likely going to align with the reasons your organization moved to Google. However, typically our approach from the get-go is to really focus on messaging and calendar because that's what's going to keep our users as productive as they were in the past, making sure that they're up and running on mail, on calendar, and there's no downtime there. So now we can take a look back and we can regain a little bit of momentum. Now that your users are very well aware of how to use mail and calendar, we can start looking at some of the other pieces that Google has to offer. This will help us and really be an opportunity for leadership to help, the drive, adoption, help drive adoption, right? Introducing this new tool that we're going to be putting some emphasis on. It's also an opportunity if at your organization you had a Google Guide program this is an opportunity for your Google Guides to re-engage as experts. All right, likely they were on the system in advance of the rest of your organization. They got to know the tools pretty well while they were on it. Well, this is a way to re-engage that network that you already have existing at your company and allow them to be the experts to lead their peers through this new emphasis on Google+. All right, now this is also going to help you transform the way that your organization works. The whole point of our of going Google is better collaboration, right? So these tools will really help you take advantage of that. If you're introducing the tools or emphasizing the tools, or maybe you're just doing, you know, a new adoption drive at your company, you really the point here is to increase your your collaboration across the company, make you more efficient, make you more effective, get your teams working together in an easier fashion. So that's the importance of increasing your adoption and, and really putting some emphasis on ongoing adoption of the tools that you have available to you. So how can Cloud Sherpas help? So with the ongoing adoption kits, if this is your first time on one of these calls or if you've already been through one of these calls and you understand what these adoption kits, just a quick summary for you. So it's going to be a full training and change management kit that we deliver to you for your training teams it's easy to repackage and help users um, improve their knowledge and usage of Google Apps. So we literally deliver you a package, right? Every two months we have a new package to deliver you. This one is going to be very easy to rebrand and present to your end users as, to, as a customized solution for user adoption. We, do sub we um, rotate out the subjects every two months so that you can continue to touch on new subjects ones that you haven't just been pushing at your organization. And we can also have the ability to track adoption and so show success over the time because we're showing how users are continue to pick up these new tools within the Google Apps Suite and use them throughout the company. What do our kits include? They include a rollout timeline so that you're very well aware of when you should be uh, performing certain activities. 
you'll receive a recorded webinar, and that webinar is going to be able to be reused with your end users. You can post it somewhere, you can send it out to your users so they can take the time to be viewing that webinar and learning how to new, use the new tool. You'll receive communication templates that really align with the rollout timeline, so you'll know when to send your communications, and you'll have templates that'll be a really good start. You might want to customize those a little bit just to make sure that the language of your company but you do have definitely a very good head start with those templates. You'll also receive a getting started guide. This is a quick one or two page guide that really gets you started in that new tool that we're rolling out. It's going to give you all of those first day one tips and tricks that you need to really get moving. You'll have a poster that you can use as, some, as a marketing campaign or as part of your marketing campaign. We'll have handouts and we'll have tips and tricks as well so you can really Give your users guides, get the excitement going with the posters, continue with tips with a tips and tricks campaign to continue to send them bits of information that are going to allow them to learn more and more about the tool. All right, so for your May and June 2015 adoption kit, it's going to be engaging and collaborating with your team on Google+. All right, why is this important? On Google+, what can you do with Google+, what is Google+. Colleagues can connect and interact in new ways, spurring new ideas and innovation much faster than old channels of communication. So you don't want to only think about Google Plus as a social, um, a social collaboration tool or a social media tool. You really want to think about how this plays into your organization. Right? It's a very easy way in a format that's familiar to so many users because it is similar to social media to really connect with users meet people at, at their organization that are in different offices, across teams, in different geographical locations, and be able to easily share ideas. You can have discussions and brainstorming. You really see those come alive with the dynamic and social sharing of posts, videos, images, links, polls, and surveys. So it's very easy to put that content out there and share it with your teams, share it with your organization. Whether you're posting an idea or a video, maybe an image, or commenting on someone else's post, the interface is easy, so you can really quickly learn the ropes. Right? So it's a very easy to use platform with a little bit of guidance. Your users should be able to pick this up very quickly. Now your private communities are a way to share ideas and have discussions that are only seen by people inside your organization. So you can think about communities as a way to, maybe you have a certain organization within your company and you want to be able to share ideas just within that organization. Or maybe you want a community that's locked down just to your company itself, so a community for the whole organization. You can share and collaborate. You can put ideas out there. You can take surveys, get people's feedback. And you don't have to worry about the entire internet seeing these posts. So you really do have some control over the privacy of what you're posting. And one of those ways is through communities. If you have a couple different organizations within your company, you can create communities for each of those organizations where people can post to that community, get feedback, learn how to new, do something new, get feedback on something that they're going through that they know their peers have already um, dabbled in. All right, so how does the adoption kit work? So we have a suggested schedule that we've put together for you. Week one is going to focus on building awareness and excitement. This is where you'll release your poster. You can put it up around your office just to get people talking, get the buzz going. Really, this is, is your marketing effort around this new adoption kit. During weeks two and three, our focus is on communicating clearly to our users. We'll provide you those communication templates. You can also use your leadership team to help send the message and identify teams and departments that can start to leverage Google Sites. So it's very effective when we are having people nominated or being volunteered to actually start using these tools and really spearhead this new initiative. And if that comes from our leadership, it can really be seen as something that, that is a nod to you know, their success or, or how well they are respected with the community if they're being um, responsible for spearheading this new initiative. Week four is where we're focusing on training. So now that we've identified this new rollout or this new emphasis on Google+. We've communicated what's happening with it and what we expect of our users. This is where we now start to provide training. 
So we do have the webinar that we'll provide to you. You also have a handout that's going to give you further information on how to use the new tool. So now that you've communicated to everyone how to use, or that they should be using the tool, really enable them by training them on how to use the tool. So they feel very comfortable. Once we launch Google Sites in week five, they feel comfortable using that new tool. During week five, when we officially launch Google Sites is when we're going to also provide the getting started guide. These are the top getting started pieces of information they need to know so they can get their profile set up, set up they can get everything set up, and they're able to get really running and, and hit the ground running on that. Now week six through eight, this is where you're going to continue to foster your adoption. Your tips and trick campaign, that's something that we provide to you where you can pull tips and tricks out and you can send that through an email campaign. Maybe you can continue to post them if you have a way that you're collaborating within your company already that's beyond just your email. You can provide those tips and tricks just to get people to continue to think about Google Plus throughout the weeks after you officially launch it. Now, actually, before I move on from this slide, I do believe that this actually links out to your new adoption kit. This is an image of what your adoption kit looks like. And in the template section is where we link out to all of the templates and collateral that we're providing you. Doug, I believe this is already live. Can you confirm that this has already been released? If you can find your mute button. <laughs> It is or it will be by the end of this uh, call. Okay, I'm, great. I'm confirming that now. Okay, perfect. All right, so extra tips to help monitor adoption of Google Apps. So what else can you as an organization be doing to ensure that your users are adopting the app that they have available to you? All right, you can define the acceptable use of using Google Plus within your organization. And so maybe you'll create a policy so people don't feel scared about how they can use this new tool. Maybe it's not a new tool, but you're really just emphasizing the adoption of it now that you've gotten through your mail and calendar migration. So if you define the way that they can use this tool, users will feel more comfortable actually going into Google Plus and starting to use it. You can understand why the change is important and help your users understand why the change is important. You'll have a faster and quicker way to communicate with each other a better way of sharing ideas, a place to share the social experience of the workplace, and a way to connect with your vendors, clients, and customers that are external, right? So it's really a way to get people in one place where they can see and feel things and really feel like they're a part of a community. You can start simple. Encourage the use of Google Plus using simple use cases that are important to your organization. A few ideas for you. Communities can be created for certain teams within your organization to share ideas. Hangouts on air to broadcast meetings and trainings. Events to coordinate organization or team-wide events. And just in general, a place for thought leadership. If you have questions, if you have a great idea, encourage your users to post those on Google+. All right, have fun with it and get creative. Encourage your executives to start using Google+. If your executives are start starting to use Google+, that will trickle down. You'll see that they've bought into this new tool and users or your employees at your organization will see that it's okay to start using, it's encouraged to start using. One really fun way is to create a contest. That's always a great way to get the adoption going and to get people to start using a new tool. You could start a contest that's best use of Google Plus. You could have, you know, just different um, different users across the organization submitting their responses for best use of Google Plus. That gets a, uh, your organization really getting their creative juices flowing. Sometimes these can be kind of funny, and people um, that trickles down, and, and people see how fun that can be, and they can submit their responses, and, and really it gets people to start using the tool just so they can submit an entry into the contest. So that's always a good idea. Incentives are always great as well. So if you have an incentive for a team or a department to use Google Plus communities, then that's going to get people really get their foot on the ground, right? Foot out the door and start using those tools. Leverage your leadership within your company or your Google Guides. You have that network of Google Guides that already exists. So you're able to leverage them as experts on the Google platform. 
your users have gone to them once before at least. And now you can really leverage them again to go be the go-to for any questions about Google Plus and how your users can get started. Now you can partner with Cloud Sherpa's business transformation and our change management teams internally. You can build a strategy to gauge readiness and to monitor and measure adoption. We can provide a use case analysis for you where we work with your team to identify use cases within your company and really show you how Google Plus can fit those use cases and improve on or streamline some of your current processes. Your Google for Work deployment is guaranteed to achieve adoption. And you can have custom and ongoing training. So that's something that you can work with us on to provide custom and ongoing training of these new tools that you're rolling out. All right, just as far as next steps, what do you need to do now? Access your kit on Keeping Up in the Cloud, right? So you should have access if you're on this call to Keeping Up in the Cloud. If you don't, feel free to reach out to Doug and he can help you get set up with that. Speak to your business about your plan. So you should involve your leadership as much as possible to really get things moving and really get that sponsorship behind this new initiative. Also involve your Google Guides as much as possible. Follow the schedule that we've provided. It'll be, it's really laid out for you very easily. You can really just follow the week by week plans, use the posters, the templates, and all of the artifacts that we've provided for you on a week by week basis to get started down this road. Have a little bit of fun with it. Right? Everyone likes things that are fun. It's going to make it more incentivized to actually use the tool if it's going to be a fun initiative. And of course, we'll see you in July for communicating better with your department using communities. All right. So thank you so much for your time today. Doug, I don't know if you have any wrap up comments for anyone or if you want to open up for any questions. Sure, we can uh, open it up for questions. Um, also, let you know that there will, this webinar has been recorded and will be out on Keeping Up in the Cloud uh, by tonight. Um, and also, I have confirmed that all of the um, assets that, that Emmeline described in, here, in this presentation are now available on Keeping Up in the Cloud in the Adoption Kit section. Um, so feel free to go there. Uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and type them into the uh, question, the Q&A app on here. Um, which I forgot to open. So let me open that now. Um, so feel free to, to click on the Q&A app and submit any questions that you might have. Okay, it looks like uh, we don't have any questions today. So with that, I wanna thank Emmeline for her time and for her expertise and for uh, for sharing her knowledge. Um, so we certainly appreciate it and uh, look forward to um, doing this again in July. In the meantime, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to us uh, at cloudmanagement at cloudsherpas.com or at support at cloudsherpas.com. They're, they're essentially the same address um, and look forward to hearing from all of you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Emily. Thanks, everyone.